Hey, welcome back guys. Sorry it's been a while. Bit of a, another preview video today. Today's video is on another Drifter Stockton product. So they're coming out with some great gear. So I had the privilege of picking up one of these about a week ago. So I haven't had a really had a, I haven't had a chance to take much of a look at it yet. And to be honest, I haven't even set it up since I, we set it up at the store over a week ago. So th what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set up for the first time. And I'm also going to show you something. It's quite a few people is wondering if the, the curved light bar will fit inside these. So you can get an optional curved light bar and it's got, it's a bar that goes through along the middle. Okay, crosses over the middle here and it helps to stop the pooling. So the, these type of tents have a nasty habit of, of pooling water if you don't drop all the, the one side down. But even if you drop the side down, sometimes if the, heavy, if the rain comes down heavy enough, it can still pool. And I found that out once. Okay, if one of the first, first times I used one of these type of awnings, I, I did have the pole down. I thought I had it down enough and I didn't realize it. And I actually lost one of these awnings and it was a Ridge Rider one and it wasn't too bad. So Drifter Stockton's come out with their own line and as of the time that this is filming, uh, they're $199, okay? Now the light, the curve light, you'll need to go on their website, Drifter's website, to check on that. Because they're, they're made, they're a super peg one, but the light itself is actually manufactured. Uh, when, I, when I say manufactured, the light's not manufactured here. It's imported, I'm not sure where, but they're good quality lights. Uh, but the bar itself, where the light mounts into, that's manufactured at the Drifter factory down in Gloucester in New South Wales. So good on you guys for doing that. It's a brilliant idea. And as soon as I get to show you, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Now I'm, I'm using my phone camera here today because I've been away for uh, nearly a couple of weeks now, hence why there hasn't been too many videos. So I'm catching up a family that I haven't seen for a while, so it's been really busy. And I've only just got a bit of spare time now, and plus it's been so hot here. And today it's just a lovely sea breeze with uh, overcast, so I thought that, but I thought I'll also show off my new <laughs> Drifter shirt. <laughs> I hope you like it. It's also got Drifter on the back too. And your nephew gave me this today. It's a, it's a hat that Luke gave him. I finally got a new one and you can actually read Drifter on it. Luke gave him this one and he says, I don't wear it enough. And, and he said, it'll, it'll come more handy for you. So he gave, gave me that uh, yesterday. So I'm wrapped about that. So, <laughs> beauty. I think I look the part now. What do you reckon? <laughs> but let's whack this. So let's whack this on a tripod. Because obviously I can't set this up one-handed and we'll set up a tripod just off the side here and I haven't set one of these up in a long time so you're going to see me set up for the first time and I've had a few questions that people ask me does the curved light bar fit inside the bag when you store it away and yes it does and in fact it's in there now so you can see how compact that is and yet I'm still able to easily fit that light bar in. But let's move this to a tripod and I'll show you. Now that we've got that on the tripod, now that we've got the camera on the tripod, this is gonna make it so much easier for me just to show you how easy these are to set up. Now bear in mind, I haven't set one of these up in a long time, okay? Now, of course, first thing we do, First time I've done this on my own in many, many years. All right, of course I've got to remember next time where this is. I sat this on the top there. So just bear in mind, uh, luckily there's no scratches on the car. So that's the curved light bar, okay? So as you can see, it's got a light in here. Uh, but we'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you this up closer on another video. So this is just going to be a preview. So basically, uh, as you can see, these are adjustable. You can adjust these. They come in at uh, different length as well. Uh, the, the cable at the end here is for the power, for the light, of course. But we'll put that aside short right now. And I will show you 
how that is used. So now we've got these Velcro tags, tabs here. Okay. So I like to undo these Velcro tabs. Next thing what I like to do is, I remember right, I pull these, these poles out. When you're setting these up on your own, it's a lot easier if you've got more than two persons. Let it fold out. I love the colour, la la la, the colour. Good choice in colour, Luke. Love this green colour, it's beautiful. So you, you also got poles that drops down here. Now, loosen them out and tighten them up to about the height you think you want. Okay. So as you can see, it's not too difficult. Some people do struggle setting these up. Now at this point, okay, I lean it like that. All right. And then I'll grab one of these and go through, pull it out. And then that, there's a little hole there where that just clips in there. And then we'll tighten that up. And we do the same the other side. Now I hope you can see me there. But like I said, I am going to do another video on this to show this in more detail. So this is just a quick preview. While I've got some spare time, before I go pick up my nieces down at the bus stop. Okay. Now let's drop this down a bit because it's a bit too high. Now you can see how easy that was. That wasn't too difficult at all. And then you've got these Velcro tags over here. Okay. So you just pull these out. We'll just do a couple right now. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm just going to check the camera and see if you can actually see. Oh, that's perfect, guys. <laughs> that is perfect. I couldn't have framed that better. So I'm using my phone right now. It's just so much easier to record on my phone and edit on the phone and upload till I get home and I can start using my good camera. So, the light bar. These are brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Ingenious idea. Absolutely is. Whoever made this up, very smart. Love it. Okay, so you can see it pulls out, so it's adjustable. And there's your light. It's got two colors. It's got the orange, and it's got the white. The orange is a huge, huge advantage in reducing the number of the bugs, okay? Because bugs are really attracted to the white light and we find that the orange color uh, reduces the number of the bugs that you will get. So what you gotta do is when you feed this out, is just make sure that cord comes out with it, okay? And this end here, we then, with the curved side going upwards, we then place that in the middle here. Okay. And up here, we've already done, Rob, the manager from the drifter store in Brisbane, helped me to line this up and drill a hole on here. So you can drill a hole in right there and just poke that in. So you do that, pull it tight, and just tighten that up. And then, all you're left to do then is to wire this up to any power source that you want to use. You can even use like a little portable battery thing. You can put a dimmer switch on there and you've got a light right here. Now also, Drifter Stockton also have the walls and you would have seen in the video that I just posted the B-roll footage. So they've got matching walls. They've got the front wall and I've got the side wall. But we're going to leave this for another video, okay? Because I've got to go and pick up my nieces shortly and spend a bit more time down there. We're still down the Gold Coast. And hopefully, it looks like I should be able to get down to the Drifter Brandale store 
on closing day Thursday. It's either that or Friday, I'm not too sure. Just got to speak to Luke. I'm trying to get some gear up and see if uh, Luke can maybe drive it up for me and I can pick it up. So it all depends when he arrives in Brisbane. So I'm going to show these in another video when I get back home, a more thorough video. So in the meantime, now, so that's, now you can see it's got this nice bow there. So if it rains, you're still a good idea to lower your corners down. Okay, so I've got, I'm um, luckily my vehicle is fairly high here, so I'm able to lower this down in the water runoff. So you really need to make sure, uh, but I'm loving this. Now, why have I got this on my vehicle and not my 270 degree drifter awning that goes all the way around? Okay, weight saving, weight. Okay, so when you go forward driving, it's very critical you don't have too much weight up the top, particularly in my case, because I've got a 70 kilo rooftop tent on top of my vehicle, okay? Now, the, the, the roof rack bars I've got on there, I've got three bars, so they, can, they can handle 110 kilos, okay, while you're driving, but they recommend to half that weight when you're forward driving, particularly extreme forward driving. Well, I don't do anything too extreme, all right? So, it's to aid in that. And another thing, an advantage, if you've watched some of my prior videos of recent, you'll notice the Drifter Hexatarp. Well, that's going to take the place of my 270 degree awning. Because if, if you go back a few weeks and have a look, I've got a few videos up of the Hexatarp. And you can see that I'm able to back right up underneath it. And I've got all this area here is all under cover. So I don't really need the 270 degree awning. So most of the time, I probably wouldn't even put this up. This would be awesome to put up if I'm going down to Eli Creek on Fraser Island or somewhere like that. I can put this up. Now, I won't have any cover on the rear if I go to a... a campground or somewhere uh, that's not very big size because you need something like 10 meters by six seven meters or so at least probably even more um, six seven meters there and uh, make it a lot more like 10 meters by 10 meter to fit or your know, hexatop and your vehicle in and that's not including this here well possibly this will probably just barely fit in there so most campsites well, a lot of campsites you go to, there's no chance, particularly caravan parks, they give you this corny little, even if you ask for a big site, they give you this corny little site where you can just barely park your vehicle, let alone, uh, you know, a tent and so on. So in those situations, I reckon a little awning along the back there, okay? So there might be something coming up about that soon, just to cover over the back. And then when that happens, then on some trips, I'll even be able to do away with this and set up my drifter ensuite. I've got a drifter ensuite that I haven't been able to set up on this since I've put the eye camper on there because it's nowhere to mount it on. So it's basically a shower ensuite, toilet ensuite. It just sets up in fraction of a second. I don't know if I've ever done a proper video on that, but one day I will. Um, I'll show you that. I just need to get some brackets made up so I can bolt it on there so it's easy to remove and I can remove this. So it's great, perfect option. It's great to have some options. So I won't make this video too long. I've got to go down the bus stop, pick up my nieces before it might rain. Thank God, hopefully it'll rain. I haven't seen rain in such a long time. It's great to get away and catch up with family too. But in the meanwhile, sorry I haven't had any videos up for the last seven or eight days. I normally try to get a video up every three days. I should be back home within the next few days. 
Uh, see if I can get a chance to, particularly if I'm at the Drift of Brendale store this Thursday, the last day it shuts before they relocate. I'll get a video up there, might even do a live feed there, if you're lucky. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So please subscribe, guys. I really need help with my YouTube channel to get those numbers up. Okay, so if you can have subscribe, it'll help me a lot. And click the bell icon to notify you when new videos are coming up. So till then, cheers.